and the World Championship. And it's extraordinary to look at this. Look at that, 18, and in tennis, Federer, which is perhaps a more direct correlation. It's a head-to-head -head sport, Barry. Mm. Should we be referring to the achievements of these men in snooker more often in relation to these sports? Yeah, I think we should, and I think it makes a lot of sense. And I actually think it's, there's a lot of correlation between snooker and golf. There's 128 players in most snooker events. Usually about 100, uh, and, 150 and 156 golf, yeah. usually in a golf event. Tennis, there can be lots. The only issue with me is probably is there's, there may be other events that you should put into that historically. If you remember in the good old days when the BBC had four events, there was the World Grand Prix, Grand Prix yeah. uh, which was equivalent size to slightly less than the UK. But it... I think the three you've got now are head and shoulders, the masters of, of, of snooker tournaments. And I think it's a fa fascinating list to look at. See Selby coming up on the bottom. But yeah. I mean, how long before he's five more years, six more years, he could be challenging the, the, the great. The or in, or the indeed golf. Ronnie, Barry, because, you know, O'Sullivan conceivably could win this and could win the World uh, oh, cha no, Championship Ronnie's, to Ronnie, equal Ronnie, you. Ronnie could, could go beyond if his career in politics, of course, doesn't progress you know <laughs> we know he's all thinking about being a member of parliament next so there is no limit to what O'Sullivan could achieve either on that list or in the world in general <laughs> how do you feel about all of this Stephen because it's very seldom that we do make direct mm. comparisons with other sports Does it, is it a fair test um, when you call these three majors, when I, when I was playing, those were the three at the start of the season. If I didn't win one of these three at the end of the season, even if I won three or four other events, I'd be very disappointed with my season. So, so I've always prioritised these three events. Uh, the World Championship, then it'd be the Masters, then it'd be the UK. And every other event is, uh, maybe it's too black and white to call them practice for these ones because yeah. there's, there's such big money in every event now. They're, they're, they're huge events apart from these. But these three will always be, for me, the, you know, it's, it's right to call them majors in my, in my view. Exactly. And, and I'm not suggesting that in any way we, we should redesignate them as majors, but would it, be, would it be more helpful in the public's mind to know that these are our majors? I think, I think from the UK market, without doubt. But, of course, we are a global sport now. And I dare say some of our friends in China who are looking to push they, they prize money major, beyond, they, they, the they, would, major. they would definitely want the fourth, fifth, <laughs> sixth and seventh major. And, and of course it's an ongoing feast, but it's, it's good to talk about these things and actually to compare the greats of the past with the current greats and looking at, you know, give us something else to say. Mm -hmm. And sport's about promotion and perception. You know, the promotion of sport by interest in statistics like that and the perception of the fact that we are an ongoing, growing sport uh, much in a much better state than most other sports currently. With a huge amount of history, obviously, when you look back. Well, the history exactly. gets longer every time we have another year, doesn't it? I mean, you know, both <laughs> that and that applies to us as well, Hazel. Well, right? True, that is yeah. very true, yeah. I think the thing with it, these three big events, you notice the live audiences are yeah. different in a yeah. different league yes. to the other tournaments. People want to come and see these yes, ones. Yes, I think that's true. In, in all sport now, not just snooker, the bigger events get bigger and bigger and bigger. The medium-sized events... They're the ones under pressure most of the time. You know, they're neither quite the biggest event and they're bigger than the small events. Small events just tick on. But our job is to create bigger events and the World Championships and the Masters, those two really, from a crowd participation, are light years away from yeah. others, the UK coming up third. Now, the other issue I need to speak to you about um, is an ongoing issue. It's something we touched upon at the UK Championship. We ran a big feature on the 128 mm. number of players now in the game and the fact that there are increasing murmurings and grumblings about whether it is economically viable for those at the bottom end of that 128 to, to make a proper career in this sport. And even in the last few days, Neil and Ronnie have had their say uh, via Twitter. Have you thought about tweaking things at all no, since then? I mean, I constantly evaluate in the state of the sport it's my job it's what I do and you know obviously I'm logistical on formats are two of my strengths we hope after 40 odd years uh, and I've naturally I disagree completely with any idea about restricting the number of players because I'm in I'm in the world of dreams aren't I I'm trying to create opportunities not reduce opportunities I'm trying uh, at the same time acknowledging that there is a problem for the lower ranked players in terms of survival Sport has to be brutal to be really attractive, it's, that's a nutshell of it, and only very few players will get to the top. Um, we have a responsibility, I think, to give opportunity first, and secondly, as the game grows, and let's be honest, it's, prize money's trebled in six years, if it trebles in another six years, I, I won't be surprised. But what I've got to try and do is try and edge a little bit more of the prize money down to the lower levels, if you like, to give them something to breathe. But I don't want them thinking it's easy, because it's not. So I've had criticism of, 
uh, Ronnie in particular said the other day he changes as we as Ronnie always changes one minute there shouldn't be 128 there should be 64 and the next minute we should put more money into the last echelons of the game you can't do both it takes time to develop a proper prize money structure and we're on that journey and you'll see the world championships this year we'll talk again I'm sure about looking at how th there is a shift down towards the lower ranked players they will say not enough I will say it's enough to keep you alive and hungry to try and achieve what the greats have achieved. It starts off with getting the opportunity. The day a sport withdraws opportunity, it may as well pack up and go home. All right, as always, been a great pleasure talking to you, and it's always get to, interesting to hear what you're saying. Um, and before these guys come back out, one of the other opportunities that this man is now going to avail himself of is this new format for the world's seniors. Lovely. You might just see him back at the Crucible <laughs> well, listen, one of these days.